Welcome back everybody to the next episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the Light, which looks like I am causing some traffic, so you know what? Let's get out of Motorville's air. We don't actually have to go back to the town square when we want to use um, Gateway, which is nice, so it just gives us, you know, <clears throat> basically options of when to use it. Just more leeway. Um, but, yeah, welcome back everybody. I... Had a little bit of difficulty with getting this recording started, but you know what? It's all good now. Hey, you're moved. Mommy, I'm really hungry. First you had to pee. Now you're hungry. This is why you don't have kids, ladies and gentlemen. They just ask for things. Like, all the time. Um. Right. I... Did I turn in... Yes, I did. I turned in the, um... Where are you going? I turned in the thing to where we got the sword, so I'm happy. I was going to do some grinding off stream, but I was like, you know what? I just want to play. So that's what we're going to do. I do hope I still have the volume proper, because I felt like I had a pretty good um, mix. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, Oliver. I think I just heard King Tom's voice. It was coming from Ding Dong Down Well. Ding Dong Well. Huh? Ding Dong Well? Yes, I could hear it coming from the other side of that, ga of that gate. It was definitely King Tom, I'm sure of it. Ding Dong Well, eh? You said you were mice laying down there, eh? Yes, the place is full of mice. That's why I'm standing here, keeping guard. Mice and cats really don't get along, you see. Ah, oh, Nickers. I know what's happened. King Tom's been kidnapping mice. Kidnapped? That's right. You saw Timmy was going after the mice in your world. Well, in this world by they... Wow, the cats laugh. Well, in this world by here, the tables have turned. It's only explanation, but crikey, it's a good job. I'm here to put you two and two together for you. If King Tom's been kidnapped, we need to rescue him. Are you going down to Ding Dong Well, Oliver? Then I'm coming with you. Don't be daft, man. This is a job for professionals, in it? Not some underage vigilante with a saucepan and a helmet. I'll be okay. I have my friend with me. Huh? Oh my, starry ass surprise, it's adorable. Look at that, a flippin' familiar. Well, I never. He followed me home when I went to play in the woods, and he's really strong. If he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite get it, do you, sunshine? Fighting with familiars is flippin' hard. Your average person can't just jump into the fray and start ordering them around. You need to be a wizard like Oli Boy here. Okay, then, Oliver, you can have my familiar. Gee, thanks, Tommy. Thank you very much. Um, where's delete? There we go. Uh, no one's giving me a nickname for this guy, so let's name this one. Telly. Telly, I hope you watch this Let's Play, cause you just got named, dog. I sure you want to call the thumb, thumb thumblemer, thumb, bump, thumb, 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 God damn it. <laughs> thumblemer? We better head down there, huh? Indeed, we are early boy. Leave it to us, Tommy, my lad. Okay, be careful, Oliver. You got a saucepan head. Hey, early boy, it looks like you can get the super familiar in your psych up. What? I can? Gee, um, what does that mean, Mr. Trippy? Well, it means it sort of builds up to be strong for a bit, innit? Looking can give a baddies a proper whacking like. What's a familiar psyched up? Instead, you instead of just attacking like normal, you can do let it go or go wild. And when a familiar goes wild, it's attacked for longer and go loads more damage. Gee, this sounds really neat. Yeah, yeah, tutorials. You're not telling me stories. Can't defend when using go wild. We know. Well, now you know if you didn't know. Hmm. Like the gate's locked up. Looks like the gate's locked up, Ollie boy. The king's down there, and we don't have a key. What are we going to do? Come down, man. You don't need a key. You're a wizard, in it? You just cast a, king, a spell old King Tom taught you. Think I can open it with using magic? I, I could give it a try, I guess. Uh, spring lock. And drink coffee from my Mage Master 22 mug. Hmm. 
Tastes like justice! Thanks, Mage, for some awesome mug. Wow. Go f now we can go find King Tom. Yeah, we can. Can we all, boy? Oh. Oh, you can use that spell to unlock chests as well, by the way. You find a blue chest lying around, you can cast Spring Lock and plunder the weight your heart's content. Blue chest open up spring with Spring Lock. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Drippy. That's a tutorial to know. Because uh, I do believe we've seen a blue chest or two already. I know we've seen... Purple? Ooh, look at that, boy. Ding dong well where a pussycat once fell. Hmm. Alliteration. Thank you. It's stopping. Stop. Is anything down here? My lantern will go all moldy if I don't watch out. It would really get moldy? Uh oh. E5 full farm. I smell the blood of a buck. Get load of proper feisty beast. Careful, little boy. You'll have to watch yourself in here, man. Things could get ugly. Okay, Mr. Trippy, I will. Oh my god! Look lively, little boy. There's a monster coming your way. Well, let's deal with it quick and go for a look for the king. That's the spirit. I remember you've got your other familiar lad gave you well, isn't it? That should be a bit easier with two of the little blighters in your team. Double trouble. You know. Let's try out Telly. Oh. Let's go. Pow. Here goes. I stole from those double fun, double possibility swap. Yes, yes, I know how to swap. Stop it. Stop it. Not what I want to do. Oh, right, right. He's level one. He's level one. We'll use him in a little bit. First, we need to um, level his face up. Holy poop on a stick. We almost died. We literally just almost died. Oh. Yeah, a lot of times when you get familiars, they start off at level one. So. Ooh, oh, fine. Yes. Ooh, wow, well, that was a big end and five. That was almost as much as a healing touch. Yeah, I forgot how careful you had to be when you first get him. Sorry, Telly. I promise I'll take better care of you. But hey, this isn't a Nuzlocke. Imagine if this was a Nuzlocke. Imagine doing like a, a Nuzlocke of this game. That'd actually be pretty rad. Yes, back up on him. Ooh, the nausea. That I want on my team. I never had one. Ever, ever, ever. I, I kind of want a Tadlywink as well. You obviously use um, some magic stuff, which I don't want to see anymore. Hey, um, uh, Mai, why don't you attack it instead of, you know, step on it? Alright! Alright, get it, get it, get it. Yes! Justice! Ugh. For a second, I thought I wasn't recording. I was like, but I've been so excited. I couldn't even hide it. Uh -huh. This one's very evasive. Don't we have, um... Can I buy something for you? I did. I don't think I should have, though, because I think we just find that, to be honest. Yeah, one of the um, things we got, rewards, was uh, an armor for him. I thought it was for someone else, to be honest. That was for Ani. But yeah, uh, when we do have the ability to obtain familiars, kind of... We can do this. I can say at will, but when we can obtain them, I'm going to come back here and really go for a nausea, because I never did in my previous playthrough. And I really like snakes, and basically reptiles of all types. Oh so yeah, and so like I said, in this playthrough, I really want to use familiars that I haven't used before. Though I do hate to say it, that Telly will likely not be a permanent fixture. And the same might go for Mighty. I do feel very strange getting rid of your starter. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, if you don't use Bulbasaur the whole time in the game, if you pick him, I feel strange. But this isn't about feelings. This is about new experiences, ladies and gentlemans. Also, I didn't have any robotic familiars. And I know I kept calling them Pokemon and Ani Ingbor. I don't think I'm saying your name right. Let's go! Um was like, you know, it kind of breaks the immersion if you call them Pokemon, so you know, you're right. You're very correct. I should not call them that. I should call them familiars, because that is what they are. And lovely little fucking familiars they are. I think once the, um, once Telly gets to another level, by the way, we can start using them. I think that'll be nice. Oh, looks like I have a 
YouTube update. Uh, what's this? Oh, hey, speaking of Ani, you commented. I love the creature below the manhole. That's all I can read on my phone, but so do I. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Very nice. Four yeah, that thing's an evasion uh, beast, so yeah. And you just kind of want to, you know, look around all your areas, make sure you find all the potions and stuff, because... I mean, not potions, uh, tra chests, because, well, they could be potions. Or, I guess, in this case, bread. Aww. Don't touch me. But yeah, you see how strong it can be when it goes wild. So, the key to getting its evasion and its stats up are just awesome. That yeah, thing's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Strange that we get lag in this. Strange in. Um. There's a door. Doors are cool. Let's go. Let's go. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Here we go. Ride. And kill it. Yes. No. no. Vision. Do some hot bread. Roger. All right, Roger. We oh, we didn't dodge. That. Yes. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, we early nice nice baby. Oh, just leveling. Oh, if he is, I'm gonna be a little annoyed for using the white bread. No, we we're just already full MP. That's okay, though. That's okay. Um, there's a, a real lack of treasure chests so far. Maybe over here? Yay! Duff! Poison be gone. We sneak up on you. Nope. Like are any threads, by the way? I do. Watch that. We're not too. What is sharper? The secret incantation boosts attacks of a single ally. Does it apply to his familiars, though? Looks like it. Good. Oh, yeah, it definitely does. We're doing about as much as we would um, with Psycho. Oh, baby, I can like that. Good to know. But yeah, I think it applies to the person and their familiar. I think it's how buffs work in this game. Not too leveled up. Where's the defense? Nice, three defense. That's good. That is good. I think we skipped an area. Oh no! Oh no, enemy has the upper hand. Oh, and there's two of we them. We can do this! Oh. Fucking hey, man! Holy shit! That was really bad. Okay, um, this and this. Ah, we are um. Like I said, I usually do a lot, do a lot of grinding at this point in the game. So the fact that I've not is pretty different from me. I think uh, when I originally did this, I like full playthrough was like I was level ten already at this point. But hey, we're seven. We're one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. You know, ooh, ice cream. Hey, seven HP. That's a good level up. Basically, when Oliver levels up, I watch his HP and his um, magic attack. Um. I would say I'd be curious if anyone's done an attack with Oliver only run, like just physical attacks, but I, I really don't think that'd be possible um, because I believe you can do zero damage. Um, there are also times where you have to use certain things, um, like boss weaknesses, or else it won't work. Thinking really of one of the final bosses. Not the, but one of the. 
Um, hey, iced coffee. I have, well, it's not hot coffee anymore. I have, um, well, you're gonna chase me and catch me, so I'd rather not have a back attack again, because holy poop on a stick bat. Let's go! You. Mighty is a very good go to, by the way. He's got decent defenses, decent attack. He's a very good overall familiar. Um, you know, he's he's solid. I just. I've already used him. And also, Sword and Shield is just not my thing. Eriches. Ugh. Um, I have a few familiars in mind that I do believe I want on the final team. Uh, this Naja, I do want to try it. I don't know if it'd be a final team thing, but uh, there are certain ones that I'm just like, final team. Come on! Um, because, like, I started to use them towards the end of my last playthrough, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cool, but, like, they were much lower level. Crap. Poisoned. Uh, much more lower level than my team, and I was like, I don't have no patience to grind, so I'm just gonna go beat the game with the team I already have. Stuff like that. Um, do you stay poisoned? Outside of combat. Doesn't look like it. That is lovely. Uh, let's just go explore this wall so it can be on our map. There we go. Completionist stuff right there. And I guess I already have achievements for this game, so might not get anything new. Might not get anything new achievement wise, which is a little sad. That's okay. Let's do it! We, we will do it. Uh, one thing I did notice is on this PlayStation Now, it lets me... Yes! It does let me play, like, Dark Souls um, 2 and 3 and even Bloodborne. So I can now... Let's play Bloodborne, which is a game I really enjoy. Um, but... The cool thing about it is, like, if I do Dark Souls 2 on here, I can get achievements. Because I play it on PC. Um, and they have both the regular and the Skull of the First Sin edition. I've played only the Skull of the First Sin edition of Dark Souls 2. That would be technically a different experience. Oh, hey, King Tom. Um, yeah. Huh. Oh, right, right, right. Hmm, I reckon it might be worth trying to light these, holy boy. It's hell of a damp in here, though. Flames will blast long. Okay. Um, fireball, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Got you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Lightning bolt. Oh, you got me. Yeah. Hmm. See that? It's. I'm glad they they took from the Legend of Zelda and just said let's give them satisfying sounds in this game when they uh, discover something because you know. That's what the player wants. I mean, what better time have you ever had opening a chest than when it's... Watch this. And if you can't identify that, um, you probably just need to stop playing games. I don't even like The Legend of Zelda that much, but I will still be like, I know it's Jingle. Pull the treasure chest. I do want to let play a Zelda game like um like Link to the Past, um, possibly even Ocarina of Time, or Link's Awakening, the I believe this Game Boy one. Because those are the only ones I really have experience playing and enjoyed. Okay, that's uh nothing. We'll floor it. There we go. Got it on the map. That is one thing I do like to do, folks, is finish my maps. Especially in a game like this where something about a childish nature game just makes me want to do more. Um, yeah, I, I, it's not, I know that was not very explanatory, but it's what well, it is, yeah. And this, ladies and gentlemen, if my memory serves me ever so correct, is why we should not have purchased the um, weapon. From the store we wasted our money <clears throat> but that's okay there will there will be more money and we didn't get a back attack so close so close Come by on. the way we've had a lot of combats in this episode already 
let me know. Oh yeah. Let me know. Oh no, I didn't do that. I thought it would stop me on, um, you know, defend. I guess it resets you to attack. Um, but let me know, yeah, if if seeing all these combats is something you want, and if not, you know, I can. I'm still gonna do them, but I'll just do the whole like show you this screen, or maybe even just level up um, screens like that. Um, Pebble Pelt. Um, and you know, just edit the combats out. So, so let me know in the comments what you want to see. I mean, it would make sense if you guys even say something like, "Well, for now, yeah, well, I'm a single enemy." Oh yeah, this does tell you what you will learn in the future, by the way. So, level ten will learn Smash Hit. Oh, we have Sandblast. That's cool. Um, so yeah, it, it makes sense if you even say, "Hey, like for now." <clears throat> wow, a frog in my throat is a frog attacks me. It would make sense if in the you say, hey, for now show the combats, but in the future, you know, um, feel free to cut them out kind of thing. Um, yeah, defending can save you a lot of HP, so it's something I really need to get in the, um, in the, in the flow of doing. <gasps> oh my god! I was about to say, why can't, do I have to use the D-pad? I just learned I can use the right and left triggers to cycle through my... <sighs> I feel a little dumb that I played through the entire game without learning that that left and right trigger. Oh, man. Okay, this one I remember. You don't want to light this one yet. Um, <clears throat> I think it's the last one you light, and that's because you have a long road ahead of you. And as Drippy said in the last room, it's proper damp in here, so the fires will not stay lit for long. And see, just this run would kill ya. We would extinguish it. So we're gonna do this. Wow, you can use the triggers. Cause I'm sitting there like trying to run around while like oddly using the D-pad with my right thumb and stuff. And it's like, this is such a bad system. It's not a bad system. I'm bad at the system. Okay, and then you can jump down. Yeah. Wunderba. Mm. All right, coffee done. Let me move the <clears throat> the water closer to me. Mm. Sorry for hitting the mic there. This game is lovely. And let's see, we're at like 23 minutes, so we might be able to finish this place in a single episode, which, <clears throat> like a 30-ish minute episode, which is pretty solid. It means the game, I think, in my opinion, has really good pacing, that it's not like, you have to play for, oh shit. Where we needed to go was down there already. Poop stains. <laughs> oh well, you got to see a little more. Also, if you guys want me to stop every now and then to just look at stuff, let me know. Ooh, this is a pretty good, um, that's a pretty good thumbnail. I know I said that in the past. Ooh, good thumbnail, but, uh, but that was before I decided, hey, I can use a lot of these cutscenes, um, these anime cutscenes as, that's new, as, um, oh, this one right here. Let's kill it. I use some of these cutscenes as, as thumbnails. So, you know, it's worked out pretty well, but we won't have, Danglerfish, nice. We, we won't it. have that every episode, so. Are you weak to water? Wait, you're weak to water. I probably shouldn't have you in here. Healing tier, I see. That's a bit rude. So that's probably why they gave you the new familiar in here, because like, hey, when we gave you to start with is weak to water, and this place is got a lot of water, especially with those toes. So it's a good thing I blocked that one. Ooh. Oh, neck popped. And cool fact, there will be familiars that resist physical damage. A phoenix feather, I do believe that is a resurrection. Yep. Oliver, were you falling asleep? Hi, dude. Hi, boy. My guy. Um, I would kind of like an anglerfish as a familiar, because it looks like it'd be a, b a good bulky familiar. Um, we can look in the... We can do this. The Wizard's Companion. 
And you know, um, eight out and attack. There we go. That is my strategies. Didn't paint that one properly. Um, and you know, we can see what they turn into because part of it's visual aesthetics for me. So we can see what they turn into, um, as well as you know what their stats are. Because I don't want like a full team that's weak to water. I, it's like it's very much like Pokemon. I want a team that has a good diversity of resistances. And, um, and, and strengths, you know, you, you, you want a well-diverse team. That's just how it is. Why well, always keep saying that there we are do this. many parallels to Pokemon, but you're not weak to anything interesting. You're not strong yeah. against anything either, like resistant, but you're not weak to anything. Fun. What? Oh, are you playing with your dangle? Oh, Got a hit, dude. Grazie, Patri. I'm getting a little bit of lag, and that is the downfall of basically streaming this game. But, you know. If I played it on my PS4, I could technically download it on my PS4, I think. Ooh, mighty. Pretty solid level up. Good accuracy, because I don't like missing. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, a chest. That it looked purple for a second. Ooh, a sandwich! That looked good. It looked like it had tomato. That looked like it had a lot of lettuce. Now that's purple. Right? Needs to be sealed by very potent magic. Is that purple or is it blue? Because the, the lighting. Okay. So, I would say I would make a list of um, where we see these chests, but you could easily just look at a list online. I, I couldn't. I was. I could have avoided this one, but I was like, we have a. a Let's do it! Uh, back attack. We don't get those often. So what I'm going to do is psych up and just kill the Bud Bud. And as you notice, the Bud Bud heals. So it is viable to have a healer on the team. Um, incredibly viable. But as you notice, Telly hits a lot faster than Mighty. So, you know, everything's not just the same. It's not just a visual aesthetic. Um, I think visual aesthetics are important, but when it comes to the familiar's powers, they're different. Ooh, did somebody say chocolate? Um, speaking of, let's. What are you? Um, I. What is that? Okay. Um. Be a a monster. I think so, right? Or an animal, whatever they are. Yeah, okay. So... Do they like... He's a beastie. Ice cream. Okay, they like ice cream. By the way, I want to try one of the rhinos. Jabber, maybe. Thorbor, not really. Bartender, maybe. Uh, I'm really considering the clubber cub. Because that just looked cool. Um, the elephant looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I had any aquatics yet. Yeah, you could get lost in these, by the way. Uh, but one thing I really want to look at are the insect ones, because... Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. That's really cool. Like a sunflower bug. There's a sillymander. Oh, silly. Ouroboros. And there are nymphs, apparently. Um, and then, I don't think I ever had a dragon in the last playthrough. Oh my god, I want this. I want that Aura Lynx. I definitely want the Aura Lynx. Aurea. Wait, what? I want to look over here. Thank you. Dragons. Whatever. I'm done. We're good. Uh, let's actually play the game. We're not going to complete in the time frame I would like if I don't play it. Well, that looks like the right way to go. Nothing down there. There's a buddy bud thing. Oh, hey, this is the other side we started in. I do think that once we hit a certain level, they'll start running away from us. Um, but, well, now is not that time. Let's see, we're going to 
cut loose because there's a healing stone right near us, so very nice. And I don't even need to start grabbing these, but you know, it feels good to do it. It feels good. Da -na 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 -na. Know that I wouldn't. Okay, and that's a green chest. We cannot get that yet because we need a certain. We're just gonna say a certain item for now. Um, if anyone knows what I really mean, put it to yourselves. Because if someone has not played this game yet and they are in the comments, I don't want them to get anything spoiled. Uh, but let's do this. I know we're at the 30 minute mark, but we're going to just carry forward into the uh, boss fight. I should have saved it to be completely honest, but I'm feeling risky, fellas. That's a big old rat. Um, we're distracting him. So he wasn't kidnapped. Ah, man. Mm. Sorry, Your Majesty. Man, he's a fat cat, Timmy told him. That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tomfool, you! Can I have his wand? That looks like a wand. That is one huge rodent! You squeaklings work for the fat cat, do you? Uh, no, we, we, uh... No, we do. Don't be a traitor. Ah! ah, this game. Makes me so happy. Alrighty, um... Start off with Mighty. Okay, well, let's see if we can blind the guy. I don't know if I've tried that before. No effect. Hickory Dock. Um... Ouch! Uh-huh. Thanks, Mr. Drippy. Okay, I'm sure he's going to uh, do something where we need to defend at some point. Hail spin. That sounds bad. Okay. Cool. I do think... Whilst we have Sharpener up, we should try a Psych up, considering he did just do a, um... Oh, Sharpener's gone. Oh! <laughs> what happened? Ha, ah, the furry fool's gonna trip himself up. Now is your chance to give him a good hiding. Holy boy, okay. Um... Sharpener first. We get our fend on, and then we're gonna heal. What? Oh, I was like, but how did it succeed? We we're. Um... Yes! I'll show you a fireball. Oh, that was good damage. Pretty solid stuff. Whatever, we're not going to be able to get out of it, I don't think. He messed up. Awesome. Get on over. Darn. He totally screwed that one up. I'm going. Might as well do this. Uh, need to heal. Good, we got that. We need to come in here. So this isn't actually the fight I thought it was in terms of what we need to do. So that's fine. Whoa! I was like, where's your fireball? Okay, so his fireball is just bad. 
interesting. And we win. Massive ears. Like, rightly massive. How much XP? 100? I'll take 100. I'll take 125. Thank you, Ansel, for the pretzel. 100 gold. Okay, I was right somewhere. Stuff, good stuff. A lot of evasion. Because he's not very defensive. You dirty rats. I'll get you next time. But you're a rat. Because he got away, and he'd got another stupid catchphrase in before he left and all. Never mind that, Mr. Trippy. What about King Tom? You're right, man. We better get, we better go see how things doing. Your Majesty, are you okay? Oh, it's you. One King Face, put it together. One's one. One retrieved it from the villain who purloined it. You know. Your Majesty. Nickers, 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 Nickers! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Somehow I feel he'll be okay. The Zodiacs are assembled, Your Radiance. I thank you all for attending. Very well. I hereby call the Council oh. to order. You are all doubtless aware of the purpose of this session. We are here to discuss the elimination of the pure-hearted one. Come before us, Dark Jin. You summoned me, oh. White Witch. The so-called savior from the other world. He must be destroyed. Shadar, it is time that you proved yourself worthy of the title of Executor. So that should are. One condition. Ha! The insolence! He presumes to bargain with our queen? Go on. Very well. I must request that you entrust this task to me and me alone. Hmm, cocky. Hear me, members of the council. I have no need of your aid. <laughs> He thinks himself our equal. What gives him the right? He is either very brave or... To presume to give us orders. Babbling fools. This man. Silence! Very well. You will have your wish, Shadar. I entrust the task entirely to you. Teach those who speak of a savior. Do her eyes change color with her body? It shall be done. This Oliver, this savior, I will taint his heart with the blackness of despair. Uh, despair. Good times, good times. If one thanks you once, one thanks you a thousand times. You saved one's life back there. Looks like you're... Looks like you're feeling a bit better yourself now, eh? Looks, looks like you're feeling a bit better now, eh? Hear me out, just see. But you weren't kidnapped after all. That's funny. My reason was a bit off. You think I'd be losing my touch to a yellow boy? I'm just glad the king is safe. That's the most important thing, isn't it, your majesty? Uh, never mind all that. One is just perfectly livid that this villain Hickory Doc got the better of one. And all because the loss of one's enthusiasm led one to be caught catnapping. I think he managed to put law in one's greatest treasures. Mm, yeah, it is unforgivable. But one's wand is back in one's possession now. That is the main thing. Now one can finally bestow it upon to you. Thank you, your majesty. Bring forth one's wand. This is one's magic wand. When one was a kitten, one ran quite wild with the old thing. Here, it is yours now. Thank you very much, your meow just thief. If you know who finds out about this, one fears we shall both live to regret it. But one can hardly say no to one so very pure. Ah, oh, shucks, meow just thief. When you say you know who, you mean Shadar, don't you? Eh? Uh, there's no need to say it out loud. Okay, Voldemort. Uh, but yes, 
That is who won. You want me out, Justine? You've gone and given him the wand. Now there's no going back. One supposes so. Don't worry, you and me, Augusty. I'll bring down Shadar. You'll see. Wand? And a magic wand. Now, for coming to one's aid in one's hour of need, let us present with you a new magic. One hopes it will prove, prove useful. Frostbite. Ollie, thanks again, Your Majesty. I can't wait to try it out. I'm going to become the best wizard ever. Hmm, really? Very eager, aren't you? In that case, there's a forest south of one's kingdom known as Golden Grove, and beyond it lies a vast desert. In the midst of the desert is the city Al Mamoon. You must travel there, travel there next. Ruler is somewhat... But never mind that. Rashid, one of our four great sages, once dwelled there, and still does, one presumes. Great sages? You mean the proper mighty wizards Alicia used to be one of? Alicia? If you wish to expand your magical knowledge, one is sure to aid the sages with Peru available. Valuable. Really? Thank you, Your Majesty. Right all. It's off across the desert to find the great sage in a tidy. That was weirdly worded for me. Alma Moon, here we come. Well. This is like the one thing I don't like about this game. It auto-equips for you. I want to see the stat increase. Look at that. Magic attack goes up by nine. I guess physical attack goes up too. That's fine. Um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have saved King Tom. Thank you so much for watching. And I do hope you've enjoyed this episode because I certainly have. Another long one. I hope the fact that a lot of them are coming, hitting to the 40 minute mark are, is okay. But I am going to try to rein it back to the 30 uh, what that might mean is I'll just do like a recording session and instead of like every episode, welcome back everybody, it'll just be like an hour and a half or so of recording. I'll just chop them up in a fashion that seems fitting. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and do take care. Until next time, bye-bye for now.